Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny here and welcome to another episode of The Sick Show. And as always, I'm super pumped to be here and I'm here with my main man B. How are you, buddy? I'm feeling revolutionary Very today. <laughs> Fidel! <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon about the camo hat, man? It's yeah, all time. Like It'll it. all become clear very soon what the camo is about. But um, I want to tell you guys, man, we've got an epic trailer about the revolution, about the Share and Spy Create Lounge, and uh, I'm super pumped, man. Yeah, and we're going to inspire you with everything that's in the lounge, explain what the revolution's all about, and I'm also going to show you how <laughs> to photograph a friend when you're dropping water balloons on their head and to keep their face sharp and the water moving absolutely epic man and guys check out the deal we've got for you below it's absolutely amazing it's 331 dollars worth of courses there for an absolute bargain it's a limited time grab the coupon go check it out and we'll be there and we'll see you in the lounge awesome guys click on the link put in the coupon we'll see you in the lounge peace the sick show share inspire create.com share Attention, the revolution has begun. Two extraordinary men. One epic mission to change the world as we picture it, to bring freedom to the confused and overwhelmed masses, to liberate the oppressed and to fight the good mirrorless fight. They battle the hidden enemies among us by training like elite Marines, well almost, helping each other when they need it most and never ever giving up. Join these two brave soldiers on this awesome, true story of courage, overcoming adversity and out of focus pictures as they liberate the photography world by sharing their battle earned knowledge and resources, inspiring the masses to take up lenses for the cause and creating a safe haven for all good people in a green zone they call the lounge. Are you ready to join the photography learning revolution? That was so good. How much fun was that video? Every time I see it, man, I yeah. just go, oh, it brings out the memories of the day when we shot it. Totally. I love that music. And oh, no. Like, oh. <laughs> and who's, who do you guys think is BA? Yeah, man. So A team. Bad BA. attitude. Is it? Or bad something else? Ooh. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> anyway, so much fun making that video, that man. Was I, I was, it was epic, dude. Yeah. Getting all dressed up and. Man, obviously, you know, I can't run through the bush like you can, but <laughs> I gave it a fair old shot. It was fun, dude. I can't do the forward roll carrying a 400 millimeter lens anymore. Oh, man, yeah. there's no way I'd be jumping anywhere with my camera in my hand. Oh, crazy. <laughs> hey, what do you guys think of the video? Leave comments below. Yeah, we want to know. Inspire. All right, Brad, man, tell me, what is the photography learning revolution, buddy? All right, so we call it the revolution because it's the Share, Inspire, Create Lounge that we created just for you guys. <laughs> and we've put all this amazing content in there. There's $331 worth of courses, eight of our premium courses, Johnny and my courses, in the lounge right now um, when you sign up. And let's run through what, what the courses actually are. Yeah, I can run through them. Let's jump over the screencast and I'll show you exactly what the lounge looks like. So this is the lounge here, guys. And you can see it's broken down into a few sections. There's so much going on. That's why I love it. Um, but you go down the training course sections and see what's there. I mean, we've got my Lightroom Essentials course, Brent. Like, it covers everything you need to know about Lightroom and producing post-processing awesome images. Yes. I, I mean, it's, it's great. We'll get into, we'll have a look at that in a bit, a bit more in a minute. Um, my Lightroom Traveler course, everything you need to know about being on the road with Lightroom, keeping your images backed up, safe, and what to do when you get home. How so, many places do you back up? Two? Uh, three, bro. Three. Oh. <laughs> Because yeah. I'm crazy. <laughs> Three, man. I never want to lose my images, man. Those, totally. press, those images mean so much to me. You yeah. know, I'm I mean, just, you spend oh. so much money traveling I know, and getting do. there, and imagine losing your photos. Yeah. So, show, man, the whole workflow is there. Everything yeah. I do from start to stop to when I before I leave home to when I get home, importing yeah. my images, it's all there. So that's a cool little course. Uh, you got your essential photography skills for beginners. Yeah, and that covers uh, all the basics of photography. So you know. It's all there, guys. Everything, Everything you need to know to, to, to master your camera, you know, uh, um, aperture, shutter speed, yep. 
uh, ISO, everything you need to know. That's what, the, awesome. the great thing about it, if you brought your camera yesterday, you'd take this course and you'd be shooting, yep. you know, like it's, totally. it's all there. And actually, that's a good point, B, we should talk about is the lounge is, a, that's this is what I love about it. It covers all skill levels of skill levels of photographies, whether you're photographies, <laughs> <laughs> photographers, whether you're a beginner, um, you know, you're just, you're getting, you know, intermediate or you're a seasoned pro or semi-pro, man, every, there's so much content there. It's just... It, the lounge is just perfect for any skill level. It is, and there's people from all over the world too. I mean, we've got oh, people from South America, yeah. Europe, all over the place. And, yeah. and that's what I love about it, the diversity of people there that oh. are actually asking questions and commenting on people's images. It's awesome. Yeah, and we get to see all these amazing images from all over the world. And, you know, as a landscape photographer, it's so great seeing, you know, images from the snow and images from deserts and images from mountains, yep. you know? Like, I just love that. And then yeah. seascape images. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not all about landscape landscape photography but you know you know that's where my heart so, lies but there's totally. some awesome portraits going oh, on yeah too. and i'm putting in portraits all the time and uh, you know that's another course that's going to be coming up soon guys is my uh, uh kids photography course so, oh, yeah, so how exciting. to photograph kids naturally that's i'm going to be putting that in uh, one lesson at a time so that you're not overwhelmed by all this content so yeah. that's another reason why the lounge is so great and why we're calling it the photography revolution is because we actually also, amongst all the eight courses that are in there right now, and the ninth nine, one that nine, we're putting in yeah, now nine. is Mastering Shutter Speed. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a course for you guys, for the people in the lounge, and we're putting it in uh, one lesson at a time, and we are photographing it in a new style, the Share, Inspire, Create <laughs> style, which is fun, oh, entertaining, uh, inspirational, and educational. And we've put the first couple of lessons in there. We're getting some amazing feedback from yeah. the members in the lounge, and your feedback from the members uh, determines how the next lesson is yep. created. So and the next course, yeah, you know, totally, yeah, that's so it. So it's like a workshop situation. It's two way. Yeah. So uh, we create a lesson. <clears throat> sorry, you give us feedback, <laughs> and then we create the next lesson. So like in a workshop, I'll teach a con uh, concept. Yep. <laughs> I, need, I need some more coffee this morning. Yeah, too. man, I've got water. I'll teach a concept. <laughs> Uh, if coffee. you don't quite understand it, I'll teach it in a different way or do a different lesson so that you do get the concept and then we move to the next one. And yeah. that's what the lounge is all about. It's a two-way uh, communication. That's right. Yeah, that's it. And we'll get into that a little bit in a minute. I'll show you here on the screencast. But um, one good point, and I've totally forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I need more coffee too, no, y'all. So let's jump, going on? Let's jump into some, oh, some That's some what I was going to say. Hang around for the create bit and you'll see a bit of fun and what, one of the lessons we've created. Oh, yeah, it's totally. got to do with... I knew what I was going to say. Okay, yeah. It's got to do with me, water bombs, and uh, yeah, yes. some epic fails. Mm -hmm. That was a fun one. <laughs> and so, a pink helmet. That's it. Yep. yep. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at the, le the rest of the courses that are available to you today if you join up. Um, we've got the your amazing sunset photography course. Yep. We've got the art of travel photography. And, and what I love about this course, it covers everything. It covers from shooting street portraits to street portraits. Yeah. Street, street portraits. <laughs> Photographing monuments. Yeah, photographing monuments and and, and, and in the mountains. In the mountains, so oh, landscapes as well. Yeah. Yeah. With your family, getting you know using fill flash when you're shooting into a, a sunset. All sorts of tips and tricks that you need when you're traveling. Yeah, and it's a big deal. You know, you spend all this money to go to a location, and you want to catch the capture this dynamic range of different images you know that's course is gonna give you everything you need to know to do that it's awesome epic man there's also my long exposure course oh, so yeah. if you want to capture those really amazing arty type uh, landscape images this course is great the long yep. exposure i've also got my three-step model flow pose yep. course in there so if you're a photographer or a model wanting to know how to pose models so you can get the best images that's a great course yeah too. i mean I, I took that course and i can pose like a bomb now man <laughs> See, look at me go, yeah. No, I was really, actually, I'm hopeless. <laughs> I was actually using it the other day for the um, the next lesson in the shutter speed course that we're creating for oh. you guys. So Johnny had me dressed up. And, oh, uh, maybe I should dressed get, up. I <laughs> don't leak it yet, no, man. Okay, don't leak no. it yet. Okay. Oh, this is exciting. Hey, talking about your long exposure course, let's get into it. So as you can see on the screencast here, switch over to that. And uh, this is Brent's one of the lessons from the long exposure course here. But Brent, tell us about what's going on underneath the course so here, buddy. What's that's this? what I love about it, guys. So under each lesson in the course, members in the lounge can actually ask questions or give, give me feedback. So quite a, quite a few members over here. Mark has asked me questions. I've answered them. Randy. Uh, Randy's yeah. asked me a couple of questions. I've answered them. So basically, uh, I can't remember if it was Randy, but he was asking what is the neutral density filter, the one 
essential piece that he actually needs to start with yep. and i've given him the answer like so, so he can save money he doesn't have to get the kit that i've got he can get just the one thing that he needs yep. to get going so it's really good and then um so it's basically the same as a workshop you watch the lesson you ask questions and yep. then the instructors actually give uh, you answers that's what, which is that's what's amazing about it you know a lot of traditionally these days you would go and you would consume a course online and that's it hopefully what's in the course you understand if you don't understand it there's no way of getting feedback from the trainer absolutely no way so this is a two-way interaction it's not like sitting there and watching yeah. tv and hoping you get it you get to ask questions ask comments and you know we can back and forth till you get the concept that's that's what i love about it the mate. photo learning revolution that's yeah. why we're in camo you that's see? it <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like one of the guys at Cypress Hill, man. Seriously, yeah, <laughs> good, good. So let's awesome. hey, Johnny. Let's talk about some of the new courses coming up. So uh, yeah. what we're doing, guys, is uh, if once you become a member of the lounge, you pay your um, fee every month, which is like a coffee, coffee a week or something, really cheap. But not only do you get all these courses, three hundred and thirty-one dollars worth of courses that are already in the lounge, we're actually creating courses for you while you're there. So, I mean, that's awesome. And you don't yeah. pay anything more for no, it. For it. No. So right now we, we're taking one of the concepts out of my essential photography skills, shutter speed, and we are shooting that as a, another course that we're putting into the lounge. Yep, that's it. And um, I've also, there's been so much activity around Photoshop um, and a lot of Lightroom users are still kerfuffled. Kerfuffled, is that a word? Yes. Kerfuffled. <laughs> I just made it up. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> still baffled by Photoshop. Photoshop is this massive bloated program and there's so much in there. And it's a lot you don't need to know as yeah. a photographer. And, and there's even less you need to know if you're a Lightroom user. So I'm going to do a course. It's, it's Photoshop for Lightroom users. Users. It's going to cover everything you need to know, basically, that Lightroom can't do for you that you need to do in Photoshop. Moving pixels, masks, layers, um, blending, all those things. So that course is going to get underway ASAP. And mm. by the time you see this, oh, no doubt there'll be a first couple of lessons there. So Probably. I'm really excited about that yeah. course. And a lot of the feedback we're getting from the lounge is people are scared of Photoshop. It's they overwhelming. It's, yeah. it's a big program that they're scared to jump into. And yeah. when I first got into it, I was a little uh, overwhelmed too. Like it, it, it's yeah. huge. There's a lot of stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. don't know so hey. Johnny's gonna give us just the stuff we need and look I use Lightroom all the time and then when I can't do something in Lightroom I jump to Photoshop and do the, That's it. the few things in Photoshop that I, that I need to do. That's it. So I've got a good point here let's jump back over to the screencast and I'm in my Lightroom Essentials course here in the develop module part and you'll see everything is broken down into little sections short videos so you can, can go, go in and consume just a, a few bits and pieces you know every day or every couple of days and not be overwhelmed by a, a, an hour video basically uh, so it's yeah, bite-sized chunks that you can consume in time. And the, the other great thing about this format is if you come to me and say, Johnny, I need to know something about the radial tool, um, you can just jump in here, watch the video mm -hmm. again, and get that concept again. So you don't have to. I love it. Yeah, it's and, great. And I've, I've taken Johnny's course and, and learned so much about Lightroom. And the great thing about it is if you've got 10 minutes free or even five minutes, you can jump in, consume one of the lessons, radial tool if you need or yeah. uh, whatever. Every, whatever's there, it's all <laughs> Virtual there. Virtual copies. There's or everything. Sharpening, sharpening noise, noise. Lens so you jump in, consume there. it, and then you try it out, and then it sticks in your in your yep. brain. And if you don't know, you do what Gail did and leave a comment down here, and I get back to you. And perfect. perfect. Yeah, perfect. awesome. Two way interaction. Like, that's, yeah. a, that's so exciting about it, and that's a lot of the feedback we've had. It's just yeah. if you you know if you're not sure about something, you leave a comment, and we get back to you until you get it. I yeah. love it. Great. Absolutely love it. So that's cool, man. I am totally stoked. Totally. Oh, and, and we're going to jump into one of those images from the recent shoot that I did. Yeah, oh. so let's have a look. Okay. Brent's going to teach you how to create something. Let's get into that. Create. All right, buddy, show me how you created these awesome images. All right, so guys, in this little lesson, this create bit, I'm going to show you the perfect shutter speed to photograph <laughs> your buddy when you are dropping water bombs on the head. That's to keep the head sharp, but have the water moving showing some movement in the water so what we did here and we'll show you the little intro now What do you guys think of that? Yeah. You know, the kids dropping water on Johnny's head. It was so much fun. So this is the lesson that we're putting into the uh, Share Inspire Create Lounge, uh, the shutter speed, one of the shutter speed lessons. So what we did here was uh, we had the kids dropping water bombs on Johnny's head and I was photographing at different shutter speeds to see which shutter speed I could actually get the water moving and have Johnny's head still. And this is the one. So basically the answer, guys, here it is, one sixtieth of a second. 
right? Optimal. Yes. yes, that's the one where you can actually get uh, no movement in the head, but you can get movement in the water. So have a look at this. So you were locked that, down on a tripod, weren't you, mate? Yep. With a, we, uh, 70 had, to 200 lens. And you had a sh- shutter release too? or you, you... I did. Yep. Uh, eventually, I think. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, initially, I was just uh, on the, at the faster shutter speeds. I yeah, was you pressing, could do it by hand. Yeah. Pressing the shutter yep. release. At the slower shutter speeds, I was using the um, shutter release yep. cable. Yep. Um, so with this one, I can't remember if I used the shutter release, maybe. But what we did was, uh, and was a shooting in burst mode, so I could shoot two or three or four, five images a second. Yep. So sometimes I'd actually get the water bomb bouncing off Johnny's head <laughs> and it wouldn't actually explode. <laughs> so I'd miss it and sometimes I'd get it as it was hitting his head before it burst and I wouldn't get the water. So I was shooting burst mode to get that. Burst, burst mode, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so this is the great, great image. I, I love it because I've got Johnny's head still in there and I've got the water just flying off his head. It actually looks like a mohawk. Like <laughs> it does going like, you know what like I love, this. man? Yeah. You can see the little bits of balloon that's busted in the water. Oh, yeah, look at that. yeah, yeah I it's know, in the it's air cool, there man. too. Look at that. And I'm just sitting there like Mr. Cash in this shot. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> and the kids were having so much yeah. funny, fun dropping uh, oh, no. water bombs on Johnny's head. So let's have a look. So in, in here, you can actually go to the information oh, yeah. Yeah. tab and you can see exactly what actually, I photographed that, it at. So, that's awesome, so huh? there we go. So 1 60th of a second, ISO 100, 121 mil on my lens my 70 to 200 mil lens f22 i guess because uh, i was going to a slower shutter speed at 100 ISO. and you're in shutter priority too a uh, shutter priority yeah, mode yeah, yeah. because yeah. i'm doing a shutter speed course i don't w- worry what the aperture is yep. really doing actually that's another really good tip you know sometimes yeah it's all great to shoot in manual but sometimes you don't need it no nah. let the camera do no. some stuff it's too hard let sometimes. the camera do some stuff yeah. for you and there's nothing wrong with that no there's absolutely nothing wrong if with i'm doing that, a yeah. sh- a Shutter speed, I'm going to do shutter priority. If I'm, if I'm working with aperture and I'm photographing portraits and I want shallow depth of field, yep. I've got a portrait, uh, aperture, pro- portrait pro- <laughs> aperture priority, priority mark. Yeah, yeah. And I don't care what the shutter speed's doing, yep. as long as the shutter speed is fast enough to capture the action. And you can set that too. You can set, set the minimum shutter speed, can't you? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Can you? Yeah, <laughs> Maybe on your camera. Oh, oh okay. I don't know if I can. Oh, okay. I may yeah, not right. be able to do it's all good. But um, yeah, so that's that's what I did, guys. So there's the lesson. If you are going to water bomb a friend, <laughs> make sure you shoot at one sixtieth of a second in shutter priority mode, and you can get their head still and the water flowing off them like that. Yeah, so. that's awesome, man. So let's just have a quick look at the screencast here, guys. And you can see, you know, by this lesson we've created, we're trying to step it up a new to a new level and yeah. create something that's fun, entertaining, and and you learn from it. Educational. You know? That's educational. Yes. That's it. He you knows. There That's it. Go. So have a look at this, guys. I just want to quickly flick through a couple of these images here. Look at this. So this is the faster shutter speeds, obviously. And then as you as we go down, it gets slower and slower and slower. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, I love this one at the top, actually. Look at that. There's little I love horns. It. Yeah, you got a horn sticking out. It's, it's an awesome. Oh, even that second one. It actually looks like a, oh, um, a crown. Yeah. It, it looks like a crown head. of wow. uh, water yeah. around Johnny's head. I like it. And do you guys like it that we actually put uh, my daughter's Crash helmet, oh, biking helmet. Pink, I, told, on I his, keep telling on you guys, head. man. Pink looks good on me. Pink, man. yeah, there pink we go. Pink looks good. Yeah. It actually looks good on you too, man. We should get pink camo for you. Yeah, pink camo. Yeah. I've seen it. <laughs> yeah, have you ever really? Yeah, totally. Yeah, that's yeah. awesome. All right, guys, that's been epic. So there it is, man. Uh, leave us, leave us a comment.